Hey, so this is this is Super Zomaga Barbecue, and today we are going to be unboxing the Nintendo Switch, the brand new console by Nintendo, which just come out. Potentially the future of gaming. Maybe too much for a strong statement there, but from my hands-on experience, it's a revolution in the way the games are played, and I'm certainly impressed with it. So I hope for you will be as well. I got this through today, this morning. Hope you guys enjoy, and if you do like what you see, please leave a thumbs up on the video. You're going to hit it with the biggest boot in the world. If you like what you see, of course, then that'd be amazing. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stick through the video. You might find something you might just be interested in. See you at the end. And without further ado, here it is. It is the Nintendo Switch, which I got through this morning. This is the neon version. There is a grey, black colour as well. I preferred the neon version because it was just kind of stood out and... For me, I just like that. I don't like the neutral colours and stuff. It's a big step away for Nintendo because they used to do, especially the Wii and the Wii U, it was very much like glossy black or uh, white when it came to the colour design. Kind of like a bone colour as such. So that shows you what it's like when it's got the uh, two controllers, the Joy-Cons on it. It doesn't cover any games as such. However, I did get myself a couple of games. So I'll unbox that in just a second. So if we show you here, I've got this through from Game in the United Kingdom. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I'm assuming 90% of all the people who bought the Switch bought themselves uh, Breath of the Wild as well because this game is getting really, really highly rated. I mean, people are saying this is better than uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Uh, some are saying this is the best game that's ever been made. It's, that's kind of a crazy statement. So it's typical back of the cartridge where it just kind of tries to sell you the, the what happens in the game. But you'll be noticed that inside there's not much here. Uh, apart from this game's uh, cartridge, which apparently, uh, and I have seen this uh, online, uh, these cartridges, apparently these taste horrible for a reason. Some people are saying, oh, this is absolutely atrocious. So I'm going to give it a try. Um, this is going to be slightly embarrassing, but whatever. I'm, I'm licking a game's cartridge on the top of it, so uh, let's go. No, it's not that bad. It's definitely for kids. That would detract a lot of them from eating it. But it's not as bad as people have been making out. People have been making this out like it, it tastes of cyanide or something. It's it's horrible, don't get me wrong. but um, And it does leave a bitter taste in your mouth. But it's just... Yeah, it's not that bad, you know? It's not that bad at all. Apparently it's coated with the stuff that stops kids from biting their nails and stuff. So, you know what? It's alright. Now I'm not going to lie to you, as, as this goes on, uh, it does taste progressively worse and does leave a taste in your mouth too, so I was going to have a drink because that's, that, that's now getting worse. Second the tongue touches that label, it's over. Game over. I also got this from Game UK, which is part of the pre-order thing I'm guessing, which is like a little Zelda pouch which comes with some stuff in here. I'm going to have a check inside of what it actually comes with. Let's have a look. Oh cool, it's a little keyring. It's a Legend of Zelda keyring. It's the Breath of the Wild logo keyring. So I'll I'll have I'll keep that. I don't think that's a bad thing. And you can keep the pouch. I'm guessing that can just be as like a collector's thing. Uh, a little poster which is quite cool. It wasn't I didn't come all bent and stuff which is good. And I also got myself one well, of these bad boys. Now I'll be using this for streams and stuff because I don't really want to be using the Joy Cons. I might use the Joy Cons like just to see how it plays out but you know I'm a traditionist when it comes to game consoles. I'll play with a game controller. I'm not a big fan of using anything else for it. I mean, I loved the Wii when it was out, but I couldn't get used to the Motion Plus, and I wasn't really a big fan of the Steam controller either. you ever seen a Steam console. Um, so let's just open this up. Here we go. It's a Pro Controller. And actually, that's, that fits almost directly into my hands. That's actually really cool. There is the Pro Controller, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Uh, it's got Amiibo support in it, so if you've got Amiibos already, then it just works automatically. I'll sync this up, and I'll use this for online streaming. But um, I'll be honest with you, most of the play with the Switch that I'm going to be using is definitely going to be in its handheld state, because it is pretty much set up for that. So here we go. Here is the actual Nintendo Switch itself. We're just going to open this up, and we are going to reveal what is inside. And you can see in here already... We got the actual device itself. I'm trying not to flip it over too much. We got the device itself, and you have got the two Joy Cons. And you'll be amazed at how small this thing is. Uh, it's ludicrously small for a games console, and this is literally it. Yes, there is a uh, docking station, but this little baby here, this thing, 
is literally all there is. There you go. That is a Nintendo Switch. That is literally all it is. On the back here, you've got the logo. On the top, you've got the volume buttons and the little fan the game card slot here. Uh, the kind of USB slot it goes into to charge up. I need to work out what it actually uses to charge up so I can maybe use a portable charger. The kickstand as well, which is just load it up. Let's just get us out. There you go. So there's the kickstand. So that is what you use when you're playing on the go. And now I said that that thing didn't taste nice, but it wasn't horrible. It's progressively getting worse, the game's cartridge. It's really progressively getting worse. So let's look at the uh, Joy-Cons quickly. I'll just go grab these and I'll show you what the game console looks like put together. So this is the blue and the red one. These are really striking colours. Like crazy striking colours. You can see here, these are the Joy-Cons. And if you just want to use it like this, you can use the game console literally just like this. You don't have to have them together. There's look, these little like tag things you can get which like um, hold the... Which can be like, attached to your wrist if you're playing a game like 1-2 Switch where there's a lot of movement needed and stuff like that. Then uh, it's really, really useful. But otherwise, you know, you can basically play the game like this. It feels a bit weird doing it like this, but, but I can see the positives. And definitely for when you're playing multiplayer, if you're doing like this, this is perfect. I mean, you, you pretty much, have, you can just, I mean, it's a little bit uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie to you. A plane like this is not going to be my favorite way. And I'd probably just go for the pro controller, if I'm going to be honest with you. But it still works and it's great for kids because kids are going to love this kind of, like, this is going to fit straight into a kid's hand, no problem. Here's the main event. We're going to clip this on. And again. And there you have it. Nintendo Switch. Bish bash bosh done. There it is. Right there for you. And I am incredibly excited about having this console. Because, and it literally is so easy to take off. It's just click this button at the top here. And remove it. And then you click this button at the top, at the top here. This little one here. And then eventually when we get a chance to do it. Because it's kind of not working right now. There we go. And there we go. So literally nice and simple. In, in, there you have it, Nintendo Switch, right there, here we go, so you just flip, literally, you've got this here, you flick it, and there you go. Just a warning, a pre-warning, uh, don't put it on the wrong end, the idea is, is there's supposed to be a plus and a minus, and you're supposed to link them up with the controller, as you can see here, there is a minus at the top, and there is a plus, there's the other one on the other. It's supposed to uh, match up because if you do it the wrong way, it locks in and it's incredibly hard to go off and it's going to make a kid cry. So basically, make sure it goes on the right one, otherwise you are going to have uh, a really hard time getting it off. I just did it myself and it took about five minutes to get off. This little dock here is actually a control there. It doesn't look like it from the start, but you do is you take these and you just snap it in. One. And then you snap it in. Two. Once it's completely charged and it acts as a controller. Now this doesn't feel anywhere near as comfortable as this baby. Or the actual controller itself. But it's something. And you can buy yourself a little grip that goes on the bottom. A dock here as well. Which you can flip open. And you can put your uh, connections in. USB. You've got HDMI here. It just seems that all of the main electrics are inside this little box here. The rest of it is there's like, kind of like a, a dock of some kind. But you'll see here, all we do is we literally just slot it in, find the hole, and bang. Done. It's now inside there. I want to take it out. Easy. Done. In. Out. Done. And then that won't go anywhere. That's not moving. It's pretty solid. And the USB slots... I'm not sure what the USB slots are for because I imagine they're just like to sync things up, but I'm not sure why you'd need more than two. We have the AC adapter and HDMI, which are just standard things that you'd expect to find in it. We've got this all set up. We're now going to get it running and see what it looks like when it's done. Whenever I've bought up the Switch, a lot of people have said, but if it only has a three hour charge, how do you charge it on the go? Then when I was actually unboxing, I found this little USB lead, and this may be the solution to that issue. I didn't think it'd come with this because I thought that. The, uh, and it is, it's a different adapter, it's like a USB adapter that goes into here. So this is the switch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab myself my portable charger, which is one of these bad boys, I'm going to plug this in, and I'm going to see if it charges. I'm hoping it does, because if this does, this is a game changer, right here, right now, this is a game changer. And, oh my god, 
it's charging. So when we're saying this is a perfectly mobile console, yes, I can charge it with a mobile charging device, a power storage unit, uh, that's awesome. Although I haven't got my hands on it yet, it's, it's amazing to think that all what we're seeing about the things like on Zelda from Mario Kart, etc., all come from this tiny, tiny tablet. The small little thing. And it can do as much as it does. You got yourself a Nintendo Switch or you got yourself a Wii Wii U before we move into the next subject. Go and check out this friend code, which I will show on the screen right now. And you can use that friend code to add me to your friends list. Be more than happy to accept you on and play some games in the future. Might not have been such a good idea to give out my friend code, but hey, let's wing it. And voila, there is a Nintendo Switch already set up, so I'm going to press next. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So happy, but I need to get myself online, get myself set up. But more importantly, I've got to tell you people about something amazing. So let me know what you think about the unboxing in the comments sections below. And also don't forget to leave that like and subscribe if you like what you see. But you might want to leave that subscribe for a different reason. I'll tell you the reason why. You've seen one that's been unboxed. What about one that's still boxed? This amazing little bundle of fun. Yeah, this Nintendo Switch could be yours. There are three things to do. You've got to click on the link in the description below and in the comments section. I pinned my comment to the top so you can see exactly what you got to do. This is for people who are subscribed to my YouTube, my Twitch, and you follow me on Twitter. There are three things you need to do. And that is to, first of all, subscribe to me on YouTube. Nice and simple. All you've got to do is hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit your notifications as well to be informed about new uploads when they go live. You've also got Twitch. Subscribe on Twitch, which you can do for free of charge if you've got Amazon Prime. Otherwise, it's $4.99. And just to confirm, this is not an ad. This is not sponsored. This is my way of thanking every single person for getting me this far on YouTube. Whether it be through views, whether it be through subscribers on Twitch, donations, whatever it is that you've done, whether you've just sat through a video and liked a video or subscribed to me on YouTube, the fact is I appreciate every single one of you. And this is my way of paying you back for being so amazing. So this is UK and EU only. I'm trying to see whether this can be used in the US because if it can, it opens up to a massive audience. If we can, I will release an update video confirming that it does work for the US as well. But for the time being, it's UK and EU only. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well. That's part of the giveaway. I wish all of you good luck, the ones who are going to enter into the giveaway. This is a big, big deal for me. I wanted to give something back. Given we are almost at 50,000 subscribers on the channel, this is the moment where I wanted to show you guys some gratitude for the amazing support you've given me. The views, the comments, the shout outs, the shares. This is for you guys, and I mean it. So remember, subscribe on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Twitter. Good luck, guys. I'm Master there. Hit the description below. I know you're going to be in the description to find out that links to go to the giveaway, to enter the giveaway. But don't forget to hit on my Instagram and Facebook profiles as well. And I'll see you soon. One last thing, and that is to... Sleep!